Let's talk about the function of the CIA. I, I think a lot of us have an impression that all the CIA does is uh, gather intelligence. Intelligence is information, of course. Now, one would think that if you obtained information that was based upon fact, and if that is so, what did you do with it? Well, one of the four principal functions of the CIA is to gather intelligence and, and ideally forward it to the, the president, the users of information, the policymakers, as they say. There are other functions, however, some of them more legitimate than others. One is to run secret wars, the covert action that's written and talked about so much, like what's happening in Nicaragua today from Honduras. Another thing is to disseminate propaganda to influence people's minds, and this is a major function of the CIA. And uh, unfortunately, of course, it overlaps into the gathering of information. You, you have contact with a journalist, you will give him true stories, you'll get information from him, you'll also give him false stories. But you do buy his confidence with true stories? You buy his confidence and set him up. We've seen this happen in, uh, recently with Jack Anderson, for example, who, who has his intelligence sources, and he has also admitted that he's been set up by them. You know, every fifth story just simply being false. Uh, you also work on their human vulnerabilities to recruit them in a classic sense, to make them your agent so that you can control what they do, so you don't have to set them up sort of, you know, by, by putting one over on them. So you can say, here, plant this one next Tuesday. Can you do this with responsible reporters? Yes, the Church Committee brought it out in 1975, and then Woodward and Bernstein put an article in Rolling Stone a couple of years later. Uh, 400 journalists cooperating with the CIA, uh, including some of the biggest names in the business, mm -hmm. to consciously introduce the stories into the press. Mr. President, earlier this year you told us you had ordered your administration to cease and desist on payments to journalists uh, to promote your agenda. You cited the need for uh, ethical concerns and the need for a bright line between the press and the government. Your administration continues to make the use of video news releases, which are prepackaged news stories sent to television stations, fully aware that some or many of these stations will air them without any disclaimer that they are produced by the government. Comptroller General of the United States this week said that raises ethical questions. Does it raise ethical questions about the use of government money to produce stories about the government that wind up being aired with no disclosure that they were produced by the government? Uh, there, there is a Justice Department opinion that says these, um, these pieces are within the law so long as they're based upon facts, not advocacy. And I expect our agencies to adhere to that ruling, to that Justice Department opinion. This has been a long-standing practice of the federal government to use uh, these uh, types of videos. The Agricultural Department, as I understand, has been using these videos for a long period of time. The Defense Department, other departments have been doing so. It's important that, the, that they be based upon the guidelines set out by uh, the Justice Department. Now, I also I think it'd be helpful if local stations then disclose to their viewers if that's, you know, that this was based upon a factual report and they chose to use it. But evidently in some cases that's not the case. So anyway. To guarantee that's happening by including that language in the prepackaged report. Yeah, I don't, you know, look, I mean, oh, you mean a disclosure on George W. Bush and I? Well, some way to make sure it couldn't air without the disclosure that you believe is so vital. Uh, you know, Ken, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a procedure that we're going to follow and the local stations ought to, if there's a deep concern about that, ought to tell their viewers what they're watching. Do you see what's going on? Since then, since all the way back then when George Bush was president and in way before him, they've been doing these stories, these stories that were written by the government itself, basically pre-scripted stories given directly to the uh, left-wing outlets to be spoken without changing a word and also not telling the viewer that it comes directly from the government. Basically, the government is what writes all of our news, especially what's on the left-wing uh, mainstream media outlets. Don't believe me? Take a look at this. Does this sound like unique stories, unique perspectives, or does this sound like they're reading from a script developed by the government? Keep in mind, this isn't just one station. These are 
tons of different stations. Be cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while looking at health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while you're looking for health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on Twitter. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso, Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 In consumer news, economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some spring out of the Easter Bunny step this year. Economic factors may take some of the spring out of the Easter Bunny step this oh. year. Economic factors may take the spring out of the step of the Easter Bunny this year.